what is going on everyone welcome back to another video today i'm going to show you guys how to make vocal chops from your own voice crazy vocal chops without exhale or arcade because those are like the two most popular options for vocal chops but unfortunately they're kind of expensive and also like a lot of people just be using it so it's like watered out bro like it's not fire anymore you know what i'm saying so you gotta create your own sauce like don't ride the wave but I actually made a video on this a couple weeks ago and, and yeah this is kind of like an updated version of that video since you guys seem to like that because this technique is way better in my opinion so so yeah this is I'll link the video right now if you guys want to do check out that first video but anyways before we get started you know what I'm saying go follow me on social media at Enviral as always tap in with me but let's get it alright so I'm about to preview what we're gonna make so you guys can just get a little idea I'm saying just like super melodic vocal chops it kind of reminds me of like a tropical house like kaigo and stuff like that almost like an edm vocal chop because like it's actually my voice that i chopped up but um yeah it sounds pretty fire so like i'm just gonna break down how i made it so first thing that i actually started with uh and this is kind of important because when you're making your own vocal chops there needs to be like you need to follow the melody of the beat so first i just made this piano melody So yeah, pretty chill like piano melody but next basically what you want to do is just you can't be like absolutely garbage you gotta have like you gotta be able to carry a melody so so if you can find melodies on top of chords and just kind of improvise you're chilling all right so basically i just recorded my voice uh just singing some random stuff and this is what it sounds like da, ba, da, da. So yeah, I mean the delivery is like okay. It's just like my mic placement was kind of trash, uh, and like I don't, I didn't have a pop filter, so that's why it kind of sounds uh, airy. As long as the recording is not completely garbage, like you can kind of work with it. I mean, you gotta apply a lot of effects to kind of sauce it up. So I just like did some uh, basic compression and EQ, so that's just kind of like general stuff. The most important effect is you kind of want to use auto tune to uh, format shift your vocals and I actually transposed it up 12, um, 12 semitones so like up an octave and then I format shifted which is basically like it kind of uh, changes the length of the throat and it kind of makes your vocals sound like I don't know weird like they do this a lot in like EDM songs and stuff it's a really cool effect. <laughs> So it kind of sounds like a chipmunk and that's honestly a really cool effect like I mean if you like EDM that's uh, exactly how they do those vocals um, and then next you just want to make sure you pick the scale of your uh, melody and uh, just kind of auto tune it slightly so it's more like robotic and if you don't have auto tune you can use pitcher which is like a free FL studio thing you can still like you know choose your scale over here you know and then you can do formatting by just choosing uh, your gender like this is gonna be a lower voice and then this is gonna be higher wow did they just assume the genders wow image line body could be canceled bro all right so the next step is i just took all the vocal chops that i liked that that i thought sounded cool and just organized them into one like little thing uh, and you got to make sure they're still in, in the rhythm so just cut them like uh in the perfect like bars All right, so next I just rendered this whole uh, thing into one vocal track. So you just get everything. So then this is where you kind of do the chop part. And what you want to do is go over here and uh, open Fruity Slicer. All right, so then once you have Fruity Slicer open, what you want to do is just take your um, just vocal chop track and put it in here. All right, so then we have uh, basically all of them sliced up like automatically. So you want to go here and press uh, into I think beat yeah so this is gonna be like chopping it on the beat so then you have uh, if I play it on my MIDI keyboard I have different individual like vocal chops like this so it's literally chopped up into all the different beats and this kind of makes it cool because you can actually just pick the different chops and put them on the beat so this is what it sounds like right now and then as you can hear there's a little click so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna uh, increase the attack time that seems to fix it maybe just a little bit more uh, just to make the click kind of go away 
But next, uh, basically, this is the fun part because I'm just going to delete all of this because the, the point of vocal chops is you kind of want to make it random, not like the same sequence. So I can just go on my MIDI keyboard and choose like stuff, you know, like. So what you want to do is like play your chords in the background and then kind of mess around with this. So yeah, obviously there's tons of possibilities, but this is what I did for mine. As you can see, the notes are all over the place, but that's the fun part. You can really do anything you want with it. But, uh, you know, it's better to not like pick consecutive parts because like it's better to just make it random. Uh, that kind of flows way better in my opinion. But this is what mine sounds like. So yeah, it sounds pretty saucy, but next what I did is just put that in a mixer track and applied more effects. So the most important effects that I put were just uh, Portal, which I actually have a video on this. I'll link it if you guys want to go check it out. It's a really cool plugin. And then uh, some stereo enhancing and mainly just reverb to kind of put it more in the background. And this is what that sounds like after. Makes a really big difference, honestly. So yeah, basically that's how it is. But then uh, during my hook, when the drums come in, I just kind of chopped it up even more to kind of, uh, you know, make it half of the pattern because I wanted to uh, switch between the vocal chops and then this like other key instrument I have. So then this is what that sounds like alternating between. You know, in the intro, I let it ride fully, but then uh, in the hook, I just wanted to split it up more just to kind of like, you know, sprinkle it in, not like overdo it, leave some room for the vocalist. And then uh, during the verse section, I just put him into a low pass. Make it like barely audible, but still there to add like a texture. So yeah, that's pretty much the basics of how to how to make your own vocal chops. You know, it's a really cool thing to do because like if you like singing, like hear a lot of melodies when you're... Uh, putting playing chords and stuff. It's really cool just to record your own voice and like mess around with it I hope this video was helpful for you guys to watch if you like this video Please give it a like and comment below what you thought of it And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing because I drop videos pretty often And uh, you know, I always spill the sauce for you guys. No rap cap But yeah, I'm about to play all the final beat and I'm out